everybody my name is Shay T Sweet you can call me Shay for short and in today's video this is gonna be a viewer request all right so remember if it sucks you ask for it links to the original creator will be down below I'll be a residential black friend talking through the whole entire thing hey, look, look. So before we even jump into it, I hope y'all are feeling the red hair because I had to take her out of retirement. I'm sorry, I'm having an old Riri moment. We're gonna jump right into it. I know this is not my normal content, but y'all, like, I just kept getting requests on it. So I was like, all right, I'll take a peek into it. There's eight in the series. If y'all like this content, I would recommend y'all give it a like and everything else. Um, Let's shoot for 200 likes and then I'll film the next one. But let's go ahead and jump into it. Fancy son. Squilliam Fancy son. Squilliam Fancy son. Squilliam Fancy son the third is Squidward's rival from high school band class. So, I just took my private yacht across my private lake to my private heliport. He's more wealthy, popular, and talented than Squidward, and he always rubs it in his face. That's right. There's one thing I've learned, bitch. This game is about motherfucking money. I'm living your dream, Squidward. Yeah, I ain't got that guilt money. I'll give a fuck. I swear to God. <laughs> but, so, yeah, just gonna put that out there. Oh, just succeeding in everything you failed in. <laughs> but I intend to prove that he's a fraud using his wealth to make himself seem more popular and talented than he actually is. He goes to ridiculously extreme and expensive lengths to humiliate Squidward and show his superiority, and I'm gonna prove it. SpongeBob is- So he's 6'9", <laughs> basically. Don't care, stay mad, ah Okay. One of my favorite shows from my childhood. Even going back now and rewatching the old ones, it still holds up. You might think, it's just a kid's show, there's no continuity, there's nothing worth theorizing about, but the show constantly brings back characters and references to previous episodes. And if you look closely, you can connect the dots and find some very interesting stories. And today, I'm going to prove that Squilliam Fancyson III is a manipulative fraud. Okay. Evidence number one, the pet hospital. We first meet Squilliam in season two, episode... Is this why y'all wanted me to do this? Because he's bringing out evidence and everything else? I'm learning. Well, okay. Well, I didn't know I had to put on my lawyer hat. Okay, well, here at Shea 2 Sweet Enterprises, we defend all villains and everything else. But I don't really like... I didn't really like Squidward Fancy. Like, I really didn't like him either. So, I see, I see, I see if I like him after this. He has to actually do something that makes me want to care. And then I see if I see if Shay Too Sweet Incorporated will actually defend him. Episode 15, Band Geeks. The episode opens with Squibber playing the clarinet and getting a knock on the door. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're with the pet hospital down the street, and I understand you have a dying animal on the premises. Immediately after, Squibber gets a call from Squilliam. Okay. Hello, you've reached the house of unrecognized talent. Please start after the- Sounds as though you've got a dying animal to attend to, eh, hey, old chum? I believe that not only was Squilliam spying on Squidward to know when he was playing his clarinet, but he also hired the doctor to come and embarrass Squidward. Yeah, uh, oh. we're with the pet hospital down the street. Hearsay. Were you there? Hearsay. Yeah, objection, hearsay, what foundation do you have? It's a coincidental thing. And then I bet, I bet he just knows that he's just bad at playing the clarinet. Oh, well, I guess I'm on, I guess I'm on the evil person side. <laughs> Let's go. The pet hospital down the street. We have never seen a pet hospital in Bikini Bottom. We've only ever seen just the regular Bikini Bottom hospital. We've seen this purple doctor fish before, but once again, he's never worked at a pet hospital. We've only ever seen him at the regular general hospital. Well, Mr. Squarepants, it seems you have the suds. Are you ready for your treatment? Then there's this green fish behind him, and we've only ever seen him as one of the many identical paramedics that work at the Bikini Bottom Hospital. We even see him at the end of the episode to take Squilliam away after fainting. So it is very likely that Squilliam hired these two and told them to pretend like they're from a pet hospital just to humiliate Squidward. Here we go. Okay, no, that's <laughs> fine. Is that, is that, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you're telling me just because somebody's just because somebody's a doctor can they cannot be a veterinarian. And just because somebody's a paramedic, they can't they can't moonlight as as a veterinarian assistant. Do you see how bad the economy is? People need two jobs nowadays, okay? And and let's just be honest and serious. Like just because you haven't seen a pet hospital, what would you call what would you call uh what would you call uh spongebob's pet hold up what's spongebob's pet's name hmm? what's spongebob's pet's name gary. gary what would you call gary i would call gary a pet so if gary is a pet then therefore it should be other pets are around in bikini bottom so it's there it stands therefore that there is probably a is probably a pet hospital thank you good point You've got a good point. The start of Squilliam's elaborate lies. Evidence number two, the bubble bowl. In the same episode, Squilliam also says, I'm the leader of a big fancy band now, and we're supposed to play the bubble bowl next week. The problem is, I'm busy next week and can't make it, so I was hoping you and your band could cover for us. But we've never seen Squilliam's band before, and despite claiming he's too busy to make it to the Bubble Bowl, he still shows up at the end to watch Squidward's band. So both his excuse and probably his band were made up to pressure Squidward into humiliating himself at the Bubble Bowl. Ev lies. Lies. Just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it's not real, okay? Okay? All right. A lot of people don't know who their father is, but how did they get here? They had to have a dad, right? That is a known fact. So just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not real. Okay. <laughs> Therefore, his band could be busy. And he, and if he's the leader of the band, it doesn't mean he has to be there. Okay. So no. But it's number three, Squilliam's friends. In season three, episode eight, Squilliam returns. Squidward leaves for work and conveniently bumps into Squilliam and all of his fancy friends, despite Squilliam not seeming like the kind of guy that would come near the Krusty Krab. He and his friends make fun of Squidward for working as a cashier. Hold it! Don't tell me! You're a cashier! <laughs> don't lie. Lying always makes it worse. But I believe that this encounter was planned out by Squilliam in advance, and he hired all of those people to pretend to be his friends. Take a look at Squilliam's friends. They're all nicely dressed, you kind of get the sense that they're fancy, high-status members of Bikini Bottom, but they aren't. This is more like what the fancy rich people in Bikini Bottom look like. These are just some regular Bikini Bottom citizens. Most of them usually don't even wear nice clothes like this. And most of them are regulars at the Krusty Krab and would already know Squidward as a cashier. My daddy doesn't have enough slime! <laughs> These are not the type of people Squilliam would hang out with. I mean, why would Squilliam be hanging out with one of Pearl's teenage friends? At the end of the ep Here's episode, Squilliam even admits to his whole life being fake. I made everything up about my life. I have no yachts, jets, or anything. I was only trying to impress you. And then of course, he quickly says he's just kidding. Is that true? Of course not! I'm filthy stinking rich! But was he kidding? Uh, uh, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, uh... Just because you're rich doesn't mean you can't hang out with non-rich people. That's, I don't, that's very classes of you. Um, and that's very classes of you. So I don't, I, I think that is, I think that evidence is trash. And, um, and, uh, just because, so my whole thing is, my whole argument is predicated on the fact that the matter is this, right? So he don't, you're saying he don't have money, but he has enough money to hire people. So either he has money or he don't. And my client doesn't have to prove that to you either way. Okay? Like Trump didn't have to give up his taxes. My client don't got to show you shit either. I mean, obviously he's rich, but Duh. is there a nugget of truth in there? Evidence number four, the statue. In Season 7, Episode 6, Squidward has to pick up trash for community service, and Squilliam once again conveniently bumps into him and reveals he's cleaned up so much trash that the city actually built a statue of him. Maybe if you clean up Bikini Bottom, they'll build a statue of you. Oh wait! They've already built one. Of me! I cleaned up all of Bikini Bottom in only one week. I believe that once again, this encounter was staged by Squilliam, and he actually paid to get that statue built. As Squilliam tells Squidward about the statue, a female fish admires it and says, 
Bless you, Squilliam Fancy Sim. Bless you. But if you remember, this is one of those friends Squilliam likely paid, making her whole comment feel very fake. By the end of the episode, Squilliam's statue gets destroyed. A police officer approaches and they have this exchange. This is your statue? It was. Squilliam admits that it's his statue, not the city's. And why else would the officer give him specifically a ticket if it was city property? Evidence number four. Cause cops do weird shit? What the fuck you mean? Okay, okay, Jesus Christ. Alright, cops do weird stuff. He's acting like he, Squidward can't be, he's acting like Squilliam cannot be in Bikini Bottom, which apparently that's another place that he uh, currently frequents. You're go, you're giving my kind of bullshit about, about doing community service. Like, what, so, so he's cleaning up the community and, and then the cops treat him bad? I'm sorry basis foundation that cops can't treat you bad when you're doing the right thing are we really gonna go down that route the concert in season 6 episode 17 squibbard watches squilliam play the clarinet at a big fancy concert he receives a standing ovation causing squibbard to leave angrily but i believe this entire concert is a scam not only has the audience been paid to cheer but squilliam never even touches his instrument once again, many of the audience members were part of Squilliam's quote-unquote friends, but we also never actually see Squilliam play the clarinet. The episode opens right after he's finished his performance with the audience cheering, and one member of the audience says, He's such a great musician. He doesn't even have to touch an instrument to be brilliant! Maybe the real reason Squibber leaves so angrily is because the audience cheered for Squilliam even though he never even touched his clarinet. Or because, because Squidward's a hater. Have we ever just thought about that? That he's just hating? Never crossed your mind? Never came up in conversation? There's certain people that just hate people, okay? There's certain people that just hate people, alright? And maybe he is talented and everything else. Look, my, look, my whole thing is this. So you're just saying that everybody in Bikini Bottom looks the exact same even though they they're, they're fish in the bikini bottom and i haven't seen any besides that one time where they had to deliver it at the uh, like at the down end in that in that movie when they had to well not in the movie but in the um show when they had to go to another town and you had to literally drop all the way down to go there so you're telling me basically that because everybody looks the same in bikini bottom and we don't see no other fish anywhere you're telling me that everybody looks the same well a lot of people look the same in certain parts of alabama too oh no you didn't bitch yeah, no you I didn't we don't want to discuss that okay Maybe Squilliam is just as bad as Squidward at the clarinet and he's trying to hide it. Squilliam has gone to some pretty extreme lengths just to humiliate Squidward. But yeah. nothing, and I mean nothing, compares to what he does next. Evidence number six, the music college. In the same episode, after Squidward leaves the concert, he's approached by the headmistress of the Bikini Bottom prestigious music college. Aren't you the esteemed Squilliam fancies in the third? who we all came here to see perform tonight. She mistakes him for Squilliam and offers him a position as a professor. Squidward pretends to be Squilliam and teaches a class, only for the police to burst in and arrest him, all while he's being filmed on live TV. And I believe that this is Squilliam's most elaborate and most expensive scheme to destroy Squidward both publicly and legally. This encounter where Squidward gets offered a job is already suspiciously convenient, but listen closely to their exchange. I'm... Squilliam Fancy Sam. But didn't you just say a minute ago that your name was Squidward Q Tentacles? So, he lied about his identity. He lied about his identity and his credentials to get a job, and how is this my client's fault? It is. No, I mean, uh, no, no, I didn't. Well, that's a relief. I mean, what kind of a moron would go to their worst enemy's music recital? What kind of moron would go to their own enemy's music recital? Uh, that is a, that is a true fact. What, what, what kind of a moron would do that? So why did he show up? So you're telling me because, because somebody mistaken the identity of my client. And he took on my client's identity and everything else and start teaching at this college. 
that right when my client found out, he took the news there because he wanted to expose him nationally because Squidward took his identity. He stole his identity. That's, that is a felony. He frauded a school. He impacted children. Like the humanity of it all. You know what I'm saying? Like Squidward's a fraud. Thoughts and prayers to her? She know that Squidward and Squilliam are enemies. If she knew who Squidward was, then why didn't she recognize him? Why would she mistake him for Squilliam? This feels way too much like she was hired by Squilliam to set a trap for Squidward. And if that's Hearsay. not enough, the headmistress's associate is literally just a guy from the paid audience wearing a disguise. He just threw on some glasses to seem smart. Squilliam knew- Or he's from out- or he's from Bikini Bottom and everybody looks the goddamn same that Squidward couldn't resist the opportunity to teach a music class, even if it meant breaking the law. My very own music class. Then we get to the Bikini Bottom prestigious music college, and right off the bat, there's something very fishy about this place. The building itself is very green and grimy, and has a very cheap metal look. Nothing about this says prestigious, except for the big sign on top, which feels like the only new thing about this building. I think there is a very good chance that Squilliam just bought some old warehouse, then stuck a sign and some paint on it to disguise it as a college. I mean, look at these other schools in Bikini Bottom. They all have a very nice structure and a paint job, but this prestigious music college looks like a dumpster. Going in uh, it's called, they didn't have funding. <laughs> so what? They didn't have funding? They wanted to bring somebody rich? They wanted to bring my client in there who happens to be rich, teach a couple of classes. He feels bad about it looking like shit. He pays for money. He gets wealthy donors. A bikini bottom expands. That's what my client was trying to do. But then, but then he, he was robbed of that opportunity by Squidward into the classroom, not only does it have another one of Squilliam's friends, but if this is such a prestigious college, how did Spongebob and Patrick get in here? Would you two numbskulls mind telling me what you're doing in music class anyway? Sure! Patrick's New Year's resolution was to learn to play an instrument. They say it was their New Year's resolution to take a music class, but you'd think it'd be harder for them to get into an esteemed music school if they just decided to go to it on a whim. Weren't they in that battle earlier, that bubble bowl battle, and Spongebob was there and Patrick was there, so uh, this is a moot point. Seems like they're just letting in anyone to sell this ruse. Then, both the police, Squilliam and the headmistress, and a live news broadcast show up at the same time to arrest Squidward for impersonating Squilliam. If the extremely coincidental fact that all of these people suddenly showed up at the same time isn't enough for you to believe that Squilliam set it all up, I've got something that's going to blow your mind. Squilliam literally has the police working for him. Squidward Q Tentacles, I'm placing you under arrest for impersonating a genius. If that doesn't sound like he's been paid off, I don't know what does. Maybe Objection, Your Honor, lack of foundation. The length that Squilliam goes to humiliate Squidward. So you're telling me that the cops said Squ Squidward, Squilliam, paid off the cops, but these are the same cops that wrote him a ticket. So, what is Squilliam for the cops or against the cops? I need you to make your, uh, I need that to make more sense. ...are insane. He literally builds statues and entire buildings just to make Squidward feel inferior. But why? Why would anyone go so far to embarrass an old high school band classmate? What happened between them? What could have caused this extreme level of dedication? Well, unfortunately, we never really get much information on their past. I've spent hours reading through the Spongebob Wikipedia and looking at old episodes, and there really just isn't any clues that would explain their weird relationship. I guess we can't solve everything, but either way, that's my theory. Thank you so much for listening. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Wait a second. Wait a second. Season 6, Episode 5, Slide Whistle Stooges. Just a normal episode where Spongebob and Patrick annoy Squidward. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Okay. Except I have one question about this episode. What? Why does Squidward have Squilliam's robe? That is clearly not the purple robe he usually wears. That is Squilliam Fancy Son III's robe. Why would Squidward have this? Unless they were more than just classmates. Could they have once been dating? No way. That's not possible. There's, there's no evidence to support that, right?
Don't be intimidated, Squidward. Try to imagine him in his underwear. Oh no, he's hot! No. It can't be. I mean, what kind of a moron would go to their worst enemy's music recital? It's been right in front of us this whole time. Our sources last saw evil harassing teenagers up at Makeout Reef. Ah, uh, Makeout Reef. Good time. Good time. Voted most likely to suck eggs in high school. Holy shit! <sighs> so, a conclusion. In conclusion, that was a wild roller coaster, but my my opinions and my thoughts still stands. I do not I do, I think I think I think the evidence that he laid out was complete was complete dog water and I will I will recount it as this. Successful guy that he just happened to have some people that didn't like him. It's called a rivalry. Everybody has one. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly okay. But to insinuate that my client is set out to bully Squidward after Squidward has taken his identity, after Squ after he graciously gave Squidward the opportunity to perform at the Bubble Bowl, after Squidward, after my client gave him motivation to clean up the to clean up Bikini Bottom for community service that he was sentenced to, but we're not going to get into those charges. And after my client has been accused of paying off the police, even though he got a ticket, I rest. My client is innocent, and this is and this is another thing of just because somebody is helpful just gets persecuted so again i hope y'all enjoyed that my name is shay too sweet you can call me shay for short and again uh again can we get 200 likes and then i'll do the second one thank you um here at shay too sweet incorporated we defend all villains especially the villains that i think are hot so again my name is shay too sweet you can call me shay for short and like my grandmother always says so long Say the shit, got the kingdom and you never had a place in it No man, rain with the rage of fist Fuck a train and all cause I'm a saiyan prince Goddamn, this is a royalty check If you see me ruling, avoiding is best If your life a movie, I'm spoiling the debts And I'm dead, I'm collecting my royalty check